Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn, and there's some interesting news regarding Sea of Thieves for this weekend. Uh, if you were part of the Sea of Thieves closed beta, or you're part of the Xbox Insider program, you can play Sea of Thieves for free this weekend. The reason being is Rare announced that they are doing a Sea of Thieves scale test, and they pretty much want to get as many people online as possible to see really how the servers handle the traffic and see if they need to do anything else with the servers to get them ready for launch. I think this is a really good plan and a really good idea. Therefore, if there's any issues going on this weekend, they can kind of figure it out and see what's going on and release some things, probably a day one patch for the game when it becomes released March 20th. Now, the uh, stress test for this is beginning right now, February 16th. Okay, I forgot what day it was. <laughs> 10 a.m., um, and it'll end Sunday, February 18th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So you have like almost the entire weekend-ish to play. You have tonight and tomorrow and really early Sunday to play this. Um, it says the goal of this is to test a lot of the work we've done since the closed beta and try to hit a higher concurrent players number than we've ever seen before. Um, so this is why they're opening up to people in the Xbox Insider program. Now you can play this on both PC or your Xbox One and what you'll need to do is download the Xbox Insider app from the store. Once you get into there you sign in with your Microsoft account and then there's going to be a section on both your Xbox One and your PC to download the Sea of Thieves stress test um, release version. And uh, they say some of the things that you can expect for this, you're, you're going to expect to see issues, obviously. They're kind of actually wanting things to go bad, I would say, so they can find out how to fix it. So um, some issues you will, would expect to see are game sessions being interrupted, an inability to join a game at certain times during the weekend, and issues when using shops inside the game. Um, and so I think this is actually a really good idea. And uh, if you have not had the chance to play Sea of Thieves yet, it's absolutely free if you are part of either the closed beta or the insider program. Uh, go ahead and download it. Have some fun. Now, again, I wouldn't... Don't get upset with Sea of Thieves if it doesn't work. That's just because, again, this isn't the full game. Um, this is only a limited section of the game from what they're saying. Um, you're going to be restricted to the Golden Hoarders Trading Company and accompanying voyages. Um, it says the purpose of this test is to drive skill and test issues at a high scale of player concurrency. We will not be seeking feedback on the game experience itself. And it says that they do plan on running another beta closer to the launch of the game where players will get a taste of the wider Sea of Thieves experience. But for now, our focus is on scale testing plans. We'll have more information to share as we get closer to launch. Thanks everyone who take, took part in the closed beta and blah, 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 so on and so forth. So, again, download Sea of Thieves, try it out. I'm pretty sure you can stream it and... Uh, do gameplay videos of it and such because they did allow you to do that for the closed beta so I'm assuming they're going to allow you to do it for this one as well and if you want a link to this kind of news announcement that they have for the game I'll post a link to it in the description and let me know your thoughts on Sea of Thieves because we're pretty excited for the release of this game anyways thanks for watching I'm Andrew from Team Respawn and I'll see you next time